Hello dear algorithmic traders. Today's post will be extremely exciting and interesting as we go into practice. Many have asked me what exactly I see on my trading screen, which I will go into in more detail in the current chart today. In the M1 I gave a specific price forecast that lasted over an hour, and we want to see whether it was correct. In addition, we look at my key zones, and how they react to the future course. Then I'll show you two trades that I planned and executed beforehand to the point. Finally, let's take a look at the costs that an algorithm trader has to face. Here you can see my price forecast, which of course I gave in a running chart, and I will use my key candles to show you how these zones are created. With my self-developed bionic candle, you can actually see into the future for a limited time. As I explained in my last post, I work with technical analysis, chart technique, fundamental analysis, and algorithm analysis. The process is usually always the same. I start with the technical analysis, it continues with the chart technique, then the fundamental analysis follows and at the end comes the algorithm analysis. It is crucial that these four strategies are precisely coordinated. If I were to equate these four strategies with our four elements, the chart technique would be the earth, the fundamental analysis the water, the technical analysis the air, and the algorithm analysis the fire. Of course, I also have a fifth element in trading, and these are my own tones from best bid and best ask. Technical analysis is about the question, why am I buying? The chart technique is about the question, where do I buy? Fundamental analysis is about the question, what am I buying? The algorithm analysis is about the question, when do I buy? And my tones especially help me with the question, when do I get out? My main screen has already caused controversial discussions, always with the same question, do you really need that much information? If you want to plan your trades carefully in advance, expect a profit rate of over 80% with a CRV of 1.5, and want to take as little risk as possible, then this information is elementary. Let's take a closer look at this. Here you can see a special filtered limit delta that shows me exactly in which area the big players are buying or selling. From this I derive the accumulation or distribution and recognize whether the dollar or euro is being sold or bought. The same special filtered limit delta, but in a smaller time unit, the limit orders are compared with the market orders on the right. Incidentally, the resulting gaps provide very interesting information about future resistance zones. My specially configured trading chart, with my developed bionic candle. As a rule, I get in and out with market orders. A virtual stop is automatically set that cannot be identified by the broker. Here you can see my special developed currency strength for the euro and dollar. The green zones show the strength of the euro, the red zones the strength of the dollar. The configuration has been changed so that currency strengths change very quickly. Here we see a special filtered heat map. However, the red and green circles that show me exactly when the long and short traders are stopped are decisive. What we see here is not a typical footprint chart, as only special limit orders that are relevant for a quick trading decision are highlighted. This is a 3D spoofing display developed by me, from which you can already identify clear turning points. Since the big players use the same algorithms over and over again, the same processes can be recognized over and over again. This special display shows the strengths of the limit buy and limit sell orders. This enables absorption to be recognized more quickly. This display can also be used to identify possible fake orders in the limit area. This display is the fastest display on the market, but was not generated from the DOM or the time and sales list, but with special filter settings from the spoofing information. From this you can make very precise trading decisions. As soon as an equilibrium arises in the market, that means uncertainty. For me it is crucial whether the equilibrium takes place on the ask or bid side. The next steps for the big players can be derived from this. Here I get different information about different strengths in order to calculate the effective strength of the limit and market orders. With this special filter setting I can see the positioning of the small retail traders. Of course, the big players have been filtered out here. 
Here we see different spoofing views that serve the sole purpose of identifying stronger iceberg orders in the market. This is the best way to read out the recurring algorithms. Here you can find various information about the current ATR, the spread, the candle strength and upcoming meetings that are responsible for higher volatility. In the last few years I have changed my main chart over and over again in order to generate the fastest information possible. It is important that these representations must be precisely coordinated with one another is crucial. Of course, in addition to my main chart, I have four other screens where I primarily display my navigation maps. On May 19, 2021 at 4.10 p.m., I first made a forecast, calculated a new resistance zone from the falling price and plotted it on the chart. I made the first forecast at 4.10 p.m. because I assumed that the course would go up. At 4.20 p.m. the course reached my forecast zone and then ran into my next advised zone, which it reached at 4.50 p.m. My last zone was then reached at 5.20 p.m. I forecast four zones within one hour to show you how exactly a trader can work with my key candle. Now let's take a look at how my plan worked out. Overall, the result looks very good, but how did I create these zones? Here we see a typical key candle that was also very strong and stopped the course at 4.10 pm. The downward blue candle was very strong and slowed the high course. The lower key candle was very strong and also held up the course. I then drew my last resistance zone from the course below. Let's take a look at the whole thing now live. I gave my first price forecast at 4.05 pm. To save time, I have accelerated the course 50 times. We can now see that the course went up relatively quickly in the first run. I then thought for a brief moment that the price could possibly run into the key candle above, but it wasn't. Now the course ran down into my previously drawn zone. This downward run took place relatively quickly and reached exactly the lowest zone. Then there was an immediate upward reaction and a sideways market initially arose, where the big players collected another bid to push the price further down. On the right side you can see an M1, on the left an M5 chart. The lines I have drawn are immediately mirrored on both sides. This helps me determine the exact key candles and reduce the size of the zones. We are still in a sideways market, with the key candles I can draw the zones precisely, but in the end I need the algorithms to recognize when the price is moving in the decisive direction. Since the one-minute candle is the most volatile of all nine time units, it should be clear to everyone how difficult it is to make a correct forecast for the future. Nevertheless, with the right approach, you can increase the probability in your favor. In the following example, I would like to show you how exactly you can work with these key candles. The course was right next to the blue arrow and underneath was a resistance zone that I had created, which from my point of view could push the course up again. So for the last few moves into this resistance zone I planned a short short trade and immediately a long trade again in the opposite direction. I recognized a possible resistance zone that could hold up the course and that's why I wanted to get out at this point. In fact, this is where the biggest pullback of all upward candles occurred, but the price was pushed through after that. My algorithm analysis gave me no clear signals, so I left at this point. Now let's look at the two trades a little faster. First of all, I got into the trade optimally, and I was aware that I had to get out relatively quickly because the price had moved into my resistance zone. I got out of the trade very well, and have now waited a few minutes to find an optimal entry. The entry was also good and my stop of 1.4 pip was not started. The course went up relatively quickly and came into my marked zone. There weren't any clear signals here, that's why I got out. Earning $300 in 6 minutes is a good result, but what annoyed me was the pip value per minute, which I was absolutely not satisfied with. Now everyone will ask themselves the question how I could have foreseen this resistance zone beforehand. As I have already described in some of my posts, a key candle is always created from the past and thus projects a strong price zone into the future. We can even see two strong key candles from which I have calculated an average. We go back further and initially see a strong key candle, which was almost taken out again at the beginning of the course. Because of this, the lower key candle was significantly stronger than the upper one. 
We now go back to our starting point and see how our two key zones have developed. In fact, the lower key zone was significantly stronger as the price was pushed up there more strongly. Here we see two strong upward movements that pushed the price up in the later course. The key candle underneath also had a special strength, as we will see later. The price initially continued upwards, there was a strong breakout downwards, and the downward trend was held up by my second resistance zone and rejected downwards. Slowly the buyers came back into the market and the price came closer and closer to my resistance zone. We see that the course was turned down twice and then continued downwards. However, I warn against basing the trading decision solely on the key candle. It is crucial to know when and where the big players enter the market, which currency is currently the strongest, and how the strength of the market orders and limit orders relate to one another. The secret is to have these four strategies in view at all times in order to achieve the greatest probability of winning. My developed tones are then the icing on the cake. Dealing with trading algorithms is inevitably associated with greater effort. I have outlined three different models so that everyone can calculate what costs they will incur. As a startup I would like to describe a trader who has less money at his disposal. We use a processor and a graphics card that meet the minimum requirements, the price refers to a new workstation. The 55-inch 4K monitor is bought secondhand, as are the two HDMI screens which are often already there. In addition, there are a few extra programs and the sound configuration, so that the hardware equipment costs at least 2,500 euros. The deposit on the Forex account should be at least 2,000 euros, while the future account should be 500 euros, as only the data feed is obtained from it. That is a minimum requirement of 5,000 euros. The monthly costs for software and data feed are around 50 euros. Now it is a matter of precisely coordinating the individual PC components with one another, accelerating the internet with a special antenna, taking special security measures and installing and filtering all of the software. At least 40 hours are required for this. To save further costs, the PC and software configuration is carried out by yourself. At the end, I recommend finding a suitable mentor who will support you in trading for at least 20 hours to get to know the basics. A trader who wants to deal a little more intensively with the matter must also be prepared to invest more. A workstation with a better processor and a faster graphics card costs significantly more. The main monitor is larger and a little more expensive, as are the two 32-inch screens and the extras that are newly acquired. The hardware equipment already costs Euro 4000 here. A little more is deposited on the Forex account, on the future account 500 euros is enough, as we do not trade in this area. That is initially 7,500 euros. Software and data feed also cost 50 euros per month. If 50% of the PC and software configuration is carried out by yourself, there are additional costs of 1,000 euros. At least 40 hours are required for a medium level training. In order to carry out trading algorithms optimally, one should work with very high quality processors and graphics cards. A 75-inch 4K monitor for additional screens and all associated extras in the area of sound and programs. That means a minimum hardware configuration of 5,500 euros. The Forex account is filled with 4,000 euros and the future market account with 500 euros. This is already 10,000 euros. Software and data feed are 50 euros per month. If you cannot do the PC and software configuration yourself, you have to reckon with around 2,000 euros. And for optimal induction you need at least 60 individual hours with a mentor. We'll talk more about the difference between a trading coach and a mentor soon. Let's now take a look at which part-time income opportunities are possible in the area of algorithm trading. Requirements, the trader has a few years of experience and has already reached break-even. The capital is 3,000 euros, 1.5 lots are invested per trade, the leverage is 200, the profit ratio is 65%, the spread is 0.5 pip, the stop is 2 pip, and the TP is 3 pip. Six trades are carried out per day, which is also possible on a part-time basis with a TP of 3 pip. The risk is 1.25% per trade. The profit is 36,000 euros, the loss is 20,000 euros, 
from which 4,500 euro taxes are due and a profit of 12,000 euro net remains at the end. That's an extra 1,000 euros per month. With the scalping strategy in the area of algorithms you are able to bring your profit rate to 75% relatively quickly. That is already 1,500 euros per month. This means that you can recoup your investment in algorithm trading within a year. Let's summarize again at the end. With the right coordination of the individual strategies in the field of technical and fundamental analysis, chart technology and algorithm analysis, the probability of winning can be increased significantly. This requires very good hardware and software and, of course, in the end a trustworthy mentor who is not easy to find however. In my next post we will talk about this in more concrete terms. I wish you a really great weekend and a very successful trade in the next week. Algorithmic Greetings Michael. Yes, you